So this is the winner for the free huge pet for my previous video. If you want a free huge pet, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment down below that you want a free huge pet and why. And also make sure you guys watch this video till the end. And here you go, bro. Go check your mailbox. So there's got a huge pet waiting for you there. And now let's get into this video. So in Pet Simulator 99, there are a lot of secrets, and let's go over all of them. There's a lot of secrets and a lot of secrets that you probably don't know about. And watch this video till the end, because maybe these secrets might spark an idea for you that will get you to the next step for the secret scavenger hunt because it's rumored that the second step of the secret scavenger hunt the like whatever we do with this mystery ticket is already in game it's just that we have to figure it out so maybe after you looking at all these secrets and maybe finding some of the secrets that you didn't even know exist you might have a pretty good idea of what the next step is because as of me i don't think i have a good idea but a lot of you guys are smart so anyway let's start off with this first secret now this first secret is gonna be with this starting area right here not the purple house but with this red house and you might be wondering what is even with this red house bro this is literally nothing you go up to it you say knock knock to it nothing's gonna happen i can free cam to it nothing is gonna be here but you know what's really interesting about this house is if you have the pet simulator 99 game files pretty much literally like the uh, roblox studio of pet sim 99 where you can see all the scripts and everything well someone dm me this image and pretty much much she has a pet sim 99 game file to the right side as you guys see this is the roblox studio toolbar or whatever you call it uh on this door as you guys see it highlighted blue outline so that means he has a door selected and on that door it's actually in the interact file just where all the statues secret room machine signs and door nodes whatever all that stuff is it's in that file and in inside of that is named door and then that's the door that he selected so most likely that means that this red door is actually interactable just like the other door that you say knock knock with as you guys see you can see from the right side on the the toolbar it also says knock door on it so i don't know how roblox studio works and anything but from the looks of it maybe this might be step two to the secret scavenger hunt pretty much like how this purple door was step one with the e button right here maybe this might be step two if we figure it out and in case you guys are wondering what's behind this door you can see this glowing like icon thing or glowing door part uh when he just removed the door part of the frame outside and you can see this and that's really nothing special because i can literally free cam on all the doors and i can show you that it's on literally every single one so if you check the purple door which has a precedent secret uh as you guys see there's a glowing thing right if you go to the red one over here there is also a glowing thing as you guys see it right behind the door and if you go to another door that has nothing to do with anything there is also a glowing piece so i'm not sure if that means anything but let me know what you guys think because every door has a glowing thing so i don't think that really means anything it's probably just something for the build or however the developers build this that's probably the reason why they have it obviously i'm not a developer so i don't know the exact reason but yeah i don't know if it's anything really special but from an outsider's point of view that secret glowing thing is literally the same as any other interactable just like this one right over here like this thing is locked as you guys see but behind it is a glowing wall and that same glowing wall is behind these doors here so i don't know guys let me know what you think also this other secret is gonna be in an area that you probably never thought of and that's in the trading plaza i don't think it matters i'll just go to a pro server though i'm pretty sure if i've seen people do it in normal and pro servers but for this you're gonna need to have the vip area which kind of sucks you don't need a flying titanic like how i'm to use you could just parkour there but it's easier with the flying titanic so pretty much you're gonna go inside this hole right here right and then you're gonna try to go in there and then fly this way there we go and then you'll glitch out the map just like this now once you glitch out the map you could actually see the pet sim 99 normal world right here even though you're in the like trading plaza game because there's a different game for trading plaza and normal pet sim so pretty much you could just fly over here and you'll actually see all the eggs over here blacked out and it's just like how the eggs are when they aren't even being used like in the tech world if you know what i'm talking about pretty much like how Preston leaked out the new tech world how it's actually gonna look like as you guys can see the eggs are blacked out exactly like the ones over here so i thought that was pretty sick and just in case you guys didn't know how you could actually glitch out of this uh trading plaza area and go to the pets and 99 area sadly i don't think there is a way to actually 
actually like go and die this area because i'm pretty sure there's invisible walls literally everywhere unless you go super low and try to get up maybe then you could oh yep there we go guys i'm kind of inside yeah there we go now i'm kind of inside this world over here but everything is like just not even loaded in you can see all the doors as well like this right here with the jungle obby you can't go in though because it's literally not even the actual game so not if it works but still pretty cool and also for some reason the rocket is not even here in the 99th map which is kind of weird so don't know what that means but the rocket's not even here probably just because none of it's loaded in for some reason but anyway let's get into the other secrets this next secret is actually in the first area now to see this you will need free cam or you can glitch out the map but it's way easier to show you guys with free cam so this is the first area right under this area you can see a secret merchant right here that's a blue merchant and i don't think it has a use at all or anything like that but there's this merchant over here i think i'll be able to glitch in this but i'll have to test it let's see if that merchant that secret merchant that's under the map is actually working how i could do this is actually using my flying titanic this is why i love my flying titanic but yeah we're gonna go over here this way right and then go through this area and we're gonna find the only area in the entire map that doesn't have an invisible wall which is right over here so i'm gonna use my hoverboard go down here just like this i use my hoverboard again oh no it doesn't let me fly when i'm down there that sucks yeah so i don't think there's a way for me to literally go under the map with my character but yeah there's that secret merchant right there it's probably not even working but still pretty cool to see not sure what it's actually for but maybe just for the developers to copy paste this with the same script so then they could use it for any other areas in case they want to add some more merchants we do have even more secrets like in area 79 which is a dungeon area if you go over here there we go you'll actually see a secret inside this banner right in here you can literally go inside and you'll see a, a character right here that's jamie and a developer of the game with a trap with uh, a toast and has beans on the toast and also i could literally free cam and check what's under the toast and you could actually see under the toast it says sj is weird so it's probably just a joke easter egg as you guys see but still pretty cool and in case you guys want to go outside you don't need to have flying titanic there is a way to go up there with the hoverboard you just need insane parkour skills that i don't have but you could do it with the hoverboard i've seen tons of people do it uh without a flying titanic so i know that there is for sure a way to do it in case you guys want a picture up there and there's not only that easter egg there's an easter egg in area 99 which is the last area in this game and in this last area you can fly in there i think i've seen people use a hoverboard somehow and i've also seen people just free cam there but anyway you can fly inside this rocket ship and you'll see all the developers of the game including preston which is a pretty cool easter egg i was checking if there's anything under this just like the beans easter egg but when i looked over here i didn't see anything under their feet this is when i was looking for the secret scavenger hunt and just figuring things out for it but there's nothing under it at all other than all the developers and preston so pretty cool easter egg i like it not gonna lie and another easter egg is actually in area 38 and i believe it's 38 we could go over icy peaks and yo what the it just glitched me out but and over here you can actually see all the other developers hidden in the ice like we got chicken putty there and we got all the other developers over there we got connor there you know we got preston right over here we got some more developers over here and yeah they're all hidden in the ice just like in pets of x when some developers were hidden ice i think it was only preston we got uh, i think it has jamie in there it's kind of hard to see some of them but yeah and uh, all of them are hidden in the ice so i thought that was pretty cool too this next secret is actually a glitch that i'm pretty sure all the developers don't really care about but in order to do this glitch you're gonna need a flying titanic pet so once you get your flying titanic pet equip it and then you're gonna go ahead and ride it and then now use your hoverboard now what's gonna happen is when you unequip your hoverboard just by pressing q again it's gonna automatically equip to your titanic pet so what you're gonna do is go ahead and have it equipped right your hoverboard just like this then go over to any obby and on the loading screen press q now once you do that you'll literally still be equipped with your titanic pet and then now you can literally just fly and complete any obby you want in record time uh that 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 time i kind of messed up but as you guys see you could complete it record time and you could complete all the obbies super fast just by doing this glitch and it's also the same thing in the stairway to heaven in case you guys don't know how to do that all you're gonna have to do 
do is actually go over here to area 25 because this time you're gonna have to fall off the map it won't work if you're trying to do the like the glitch to fall off the map or whatever you're actually gonna have to legitimately fall off the map so if you want to legitimately fall off the map you're gonna have to do it this way which is going to this place right over here that has no invisible wall which should be around here somewhere here it is equip my hoverboard all right and then go down right over here and when the loading screen pops up press q and it's gonna equip to your uh what's it called the titanic pet the flying titanic and now you can just fly up over here just like that and keep going up but the only sad part is with the titanic pet there is a max height limit so it won't actually just keep climbing up and get you pretty much infinite golden huge dogs so yeah preston thought that through guys otherwise a lot of people would have golden huge dogs which would be honestly pretty insane i think right now there's only two that exist because no one is really trying to get it anymore only when it was like hyped so yeah the golden huge angel dog still has only two exist no one's really even trying to get it anymore the chances are just way too low so i mean i get, i see why some more easter eggs are actually located in area 33 in the wild west and over here there's actually some pretty cool easter eggs the first one being in this shed right here if you guys look at all the other sheds there's no smoke coming out of the shed as you guys see on this one so over here there's actually some smoke coming out and what happens is if you wait long enough sometimes it takes a long time sometimes it happens early this door actually opens up and you can see someone inside so all this free cam to speed up the time but pretty much over here you actually see a toilet cat and yeah it's just a toilet cat sitting in there it really doesn't do anything this opens up every once in a while and then you'll be able to see this toilet cat so it's a pretty cool easter egg and there's the same easter egg in the first area as well it's just that in this first area it's actually a little bit different random times this door over here will open up a cat will come running out going into this door and yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> There's really nothing else special to it. So pretty much every house has something to do with something other than this red house. Like the purple house has a secret scavenger hunt. This one right here has an Easter egg. This one right here has an Easter egg. And this one, nothing. So yeah, maybe that red door has something then we just don't know it. Maybe secret scavenger hunt part two. Who knows? We'll only know when someone figures it out. But anyway, let's go back over here to the Wild West area, which is area 33. And over here, a lot of people were talking about this but pretty much in this general store right here you'll see this uh, blacked out door right which requires a secret key to go inside for rewards but if you go on top of the general store right over here there's this black wall and if you go ahead go to it it says you cannot enter this exist this instance right now right so if you check it out it's actually the same thing that requires the secret key if you look at it it's the same wall all right it's just extended as you guys see it's literally the same exact wall so if I open this up with my secret key, so just like this, if I go over here, right, and then open this up with a secret key, and then now it's going to be open, and then now the color, as you guys see, changed, right? So now if I go up to it right over here, the color changed, and if I enter from here, it's literally going to take me inside just like this to choose one of the chests. So that's how it works in case you guys didn't know. So it's nothing really big. I guess it's just a little mistake with the builders of the game, I guess. Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say to explain that. And also not far from here, but in area 35, which is right over here, you'll actually see Preston Seeker's shop, okay? Now, it says Preston shop over here. The E button sometimes glitches out and doesn't pop up, but there's supposed to be an E button over here that pops up. Uh, maybe let me try rejoin the game and see if that works, because for some reason, it's broken right now. All right, just rejoin, and there we go. We got an E button. So pretty much, once you press the E button, it says, what's the super secret code? To Preston shop, and if you put in anything over here, it's just gonna say nope try again unless you enter in the correct code and no one has figured out the correct code yet i mean if it's a game like this since release of the game like literally ever since this game released that that press secret shop has been there there's got to be a way to figure out the secret code it's just that we don't know what the secret code is yet and no one's really looking for it or trying other codes so we're probably not going to figure that out until we get a hint for press the secret shop right now what everyone's really looking at is a secret scavenger hunt and most likely step two is gonna get we're, we're gonna get a hint for step two once the actual update releases which is most likely this saturday so i'm really hoping the update releases this saturday please preston pretty much if you guys don't know how the secret scavenger hunt works is uh it's just you just say knock knock on this door a e button pops up you spam click it until Preston pops out and eventually if you spam do it and keep trying
trying. Preston should say a secret code. If he doesn't say a secret code, he's just gonna say a random joke. But eventually, he should say a secret joke. It's just very rare. But pretty much what you gotta do is just go over to area 72. You don't really have to wait for him to say the secret code. It, that, that's just like the first step to give you a hint on the next step. So pretty much you just go over here and click on all these numbers. Five, right? And then you go click on this number. That's three, right? And you go click on this next number that's over here. This number is a two. And then you click on the four right over there. And then that reveals a passage that's in the area. I'm sure you guys already know this and how it actually works. But then when you click on all the snowman noses, the passage opens up. And if you go with that passage that's in the desert pyramid, Obby, you'll get the mystery ticket. And right now you can't get it anymore because there's only a limited amount. I just want to say that very fast because I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that. I made so many videos on it and literally videos explaining how I figured everything out and how we literally figured everything out on this and we were like one of the first ones to figure out the secret scavenger hunt at least this part of the secret scavenger hunt so yeah I'm sure uh, my viewers already know this if you don't, though, you guys should subscribe because we literally figure out all the secrets as soon as they release. Now, this next one over here is going to be in Area 25. I'm sure a lot of you guys also know about this one. Now, this one was actually here for a very long time, but pretty much, let me go get my Flying Titanic to actually go there. Right behind over here, there is a Welcome to Ohio Easter Egg with Connor. He's a developer. I don't know if this has anything to do with any of the other secrets that we are hunting currently, but yeah, it looks like it's just a random Easter Egg right now, which is pretty sick. And also, in Area 65, we got another Easter egg, which is right over here, Snowman Town. And this is where all the snowmans are, in case you guys are doing that secret scavenger hunt for all the snowmans. Anyway, over here, you're gonna go all the way up, all, all the way up these gingerbread houses over here. And you're gonna see Jamian, a developer. He's just hiding behind this house. I don't know why, but he's hiding behind the house. And also, in Area 67, we have another Easter egg, and that one is... Uh, uh, over here we just got to go all the way over here and you'll see another uh developer just uh, laying down on the snow i guess so yeah there's another developer right over there as well and those are all the secrets if i did miss any let me know in the comments and yeah i don't think i missed any secrets and uh we're pretty much just waiting till the next update releases for petsum 99 to be honest i want some more secrets to appear and also the next steps and hints for the secret scavenger hunt to come to the next update let me know what do you guys want this next Pet Simulator 99 update because there's a lot that we want and we've been waiting a very long time for this update. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy. See you later. Peace.